Well, welcome to Cooktown, and in particular, um, we're doing a little run through on Archer Point Free Camp, which we found on Wikicamps is absolutely amazing. Um, Cooktown has a population of 2,631 people, and it's a place that James Cook first settled at, or he came there to repair um, the Endeavour when it was damaged on a reef just outside Cooktown, just outside the heads there. Um, it's also home to all the game boats from Lizard Island in the off season. Captain James Cook climbed up to this point um, to have a look through his telescope and to see the reef that he actually hit and to find a way out through all the reef. So Archer Point is just south of um, Cooktown and it's the most fantastic free camp I think in Australia. We absolutely loved it. Now this whole area is all free camping right through up to the lighthouse where I'm standing at the moment. This is the road down, so I'll just take you on a bit of a run so you can see there's tracks leading off. To the right here, you go down to another bay to the north. Um, there's a whole lot of camping down there as well. And on this main little road up through um, Archer Point, there's all these tracks that run off. And at the end of each track is a camping area where you can just be totally private, um, do your own thing. You see there's a van just tucked down that one. Um, all the road is pretty good. There's quite big rocks on the road. Doesn't look it in the photos. Um, but you just do need to let your tyres down a bit. This um, campground here is one that we were considering. There's some off to the right there you can see. This one straight ahead is pretty level. And you can see it looks down over the old jetty. Um, it's quite high up. Um, but it's still a little bit sheltered from the wind. And this is our site down there on the left that we think was just brilliant. There's actually room down here for probably about six caravans but most of the time we had it to just ourselves. Um, there's not many places in Australia you can have your, your own little private beach like this. Absolutely stunning. So this, um, this land is actually owned by the local, um, gone back to the traditional owners, the Yaku Baja Malaku people and um, it's really good that they've still let us camp in this area. It was prior to that owned by a Cairns development company so thank god they didn't develop it. It'd be a real shame. This is our little private beach that we had sheltered from the sou'easters. Like we, we just thought we'd absolutely landed in paradise. What these um, the Yaku people are doing is they have rangers that come around. Um, they're having a look at the whole area for seagrass and turtle and dugong migration. Um, these rocks here, we had some guys, local guys came down, they're actually getting um, lobsters out from under those little bommies there. They just dive under with a spear um, and get them out. There are magic shells, this is just a walk at low tide, round of this old jetty. Really good fishing off the jetty. And this jetty was originally put here to service a tin mine that's a few miles south. And that's some of the sea grasses in there. Um, the, the water is just pristine and off this jetty, about three weeks before we were here, a young guy caught a really big um, Spanish mackerel. So the fishing's really good and yes, you're allowed to fish here. It's not um, a green zone. Um, you just can't get, obviously go for turtles. Um, and this is the view from just up the top where that campsite was that I just showed you earlier. Um, the Yaku people, they, they actually have a um, camp here once a year where all the rangers get together and they work out how to preserve it. And they are looking at putting in walking tracks through this whole area. Um, it's part of a Cape York development where they're looking at having walking tracks everywhere. And down on the beach, what really amazed us, this family came down with a goat on the back of a ute. The goat topped off just like a dog, ran around the whole area, hopped back on the ute and went home. So you've got to say, look, you look at this, it is pristine. Just snuggled in there. We had another couple come, as I said, and they were the loveliest people um, from Emerald. And up the top behind us, you can see there's more tracks and things everywhere. Now straight ahead there, um, where you can see the, the water, there's another campground. This is as soon as you come in, under the trees. So if you really, it is really windy, you can come to this beautiful little beach. So this is the part that's called Archer Point Beach. Um, and there's quite a bit of room here. It's hard to get it all on film just to show you, but really sheltered, protected and pristine water and the most magnificent beach with palm trees, coconuts, the whole, the whole lot. Here, you'll just have a look at the beach. 
in the beautiful water. Again, the photos don't show the turquoise um, colour that it really was. And that's just looking back at the campground. And at this campground, there's actually a huge skip bin where you can put all your garbage in as well. Um, ships went past the main shipping channel, so there we found there was always something to watch. Whenever you sort of wake up at night, there's always something out there. So I hope you enjoy this. Please subscribe by hitting the button below. And we hope you've had a fantastic time wherever you're traveling. Enjoy yourselves and be safe.